Hello everyone! So today I'm gonna do the scribble challenge, but this scribble is a little special since I didn't make it myself. This was actually drawn by Mira from the channel Mira Byler. So this is a collab where we made the scribbles without looking and then we emailed them to each other and we printed them out and here we are trying to come up with something to draw from the scribbles. So Mira is doing the same thing but with my scribble over at her channel. So what I first did was printing several smaller versions of the scribble on a piece of paper and then I tried figuring out what to make of it and whew, this wasn't easy but it is a challenge so it's supposed to be challenging. I actually came up with something pretty quickly. I saw this face that I couldn't unsee but it was trickier figuring out what to make with a squiggly line that is parallel to the bigger line. I tried making it into like a spirit animal that is floating next to the face but then I ended up making it into a long floaty eyebrow instead on this sea creature. So let's talk a little about Mira and her channel. I will leave all the links to her channel and to her scribble challenge in the description box below so go check it out. I've been following Mira for quite some time now, I think we've been following each other actually, and I really adore her art and her art style. She's also super sweet and funny and talented obviously. She's doing a lot of nature inspired work where she incorporates plants and flowers to her work and I just love it. Mira also makes a lot of art challenges and reviews and she's using a bunch of different art mediums like gouache, markers, acrylics and watercolors and so on. I would be super happy if you could go to her channel, give her some love, subscribe, she really deserves it. I think it's really fun doing collabs like this because there are so many awesome talented artists out there that you may not know about. So for this piece I'm using the Copic Gas and Feud brush pen for the outlines. I really like the look it gives the line work compared to a regular fine liner. It looks more light and feathery. And I'm gonna be honest, this piece actually gave me a bit of a hard time. I think I remade this drawing about three or four times. It's been a busy week and stress and creativity doesn't go well together. And I think that the main mistake I did this time was not planning out the artwork properly with testing different color schemes beforehand. Taking shortcuts can really mess things up, but I did scan the line work so I could just print it out again and start over. So when the art didn't turn out as I wanted, I got frustrated and I started to push myself. And the more stressed I felt, the worse I drew. I usually don't mind a bit of a pressure when I work, but now it was turning into frustration. Oh, dreadful frustration. But after making several less good drawings, I finally took one step back, I calmed my mind and I started to plan things out more properly and I tried out different color schemes. And when I felt I had more control over the drawing, I felt more relaxed and confident about the artwork. And now it sounds like I had a terrible experience making this drawing, but that is definitely not true. I actually had a lot of fun making this piece and I'm so happy to be using markers again. I really miss that a lot. I just wanted to share my experience because I'm pretty sure that more people out there have had the same feeling and frustration about their art at some points. We all struggle a little sometimes and we just need to remember it's natural and don't be too hard on ourselves. Plan your work and if you need to take a break, do it. Taking breaks can actually save you a lot of time and frustration. Anyway, let's talk about the art. Did you know that I love teal, green and purple together? They look so pretty and I think that they are the perfect colors for underwater creatures. What is your favorite color combination? Let me know in the comments below. I really like how the eyebrows turned out. I was thinking afterwards that perhaps I should have made them into mustache instead so that I could have practiced drawing male characters. But I like it this way too though. It kind of reminds me a bit of whiskers that Catfish has, so maybe she uses them to feel her way with in the dark. 
I like the hair too and the bun on top of it. That is what I love about these scribble challenges, that a random line with a little loop at the end can turn into a mer person with fancy eyebrows and a hairdo. I don't think I would have come to think about this specific creature without having these lines to make me think more outside the box. And now this isn't super revolutionary in any way, but it is something different at least. So if you haven't done the scribble challenge before, do it! The background was a little tricky since I didn't want the character to melt into the background too much since there is a lot of blue and green and purple going on and water is usually those colors too. There is a lot of cooler tones in the character so I used warmer green tones for the water to add more balance to the artwork and to tie it together even more I added some warmer tones to the character as well so that it looks like the character and the background actually belongs in the same drawing. The last thing I did was adding some shimmer. I used the Gansai Tambi gold paints and pearl colors. The gold goes really well with the cooler tones and adds more warmth to the drawing. It gives the drawing more interesting elements to look at. This was also the first time I tried out the Gansai pearl colors that I used for the fishes and the paint looks so beautiful and shimmery. I will do a full review of these paints soon, hopefully. Then I'm adding some more minor details to finish it all up. I really love how this turned out and it feels even better knowing that I struggled with it and that in the end it turned out even better than expected. I had a lot of fun, I love doing the scribble challenge, you never know what hides inside those scribbly lines. Thanks Mira for doing this collab with me, I had a lot of fun, as I said, several times now. All the links to Mira's channel and her video is in the description box below, so go check it out. That is all for now, hope you enjoyed this video and that you liked the drawing. Please subscribe to my channel and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching, keep drawing my happy cats, bye!